Hi guys, Angel here. Uh, today I thought I'd do a book review. Um, this book is a magical workings book or a book to help with your magical workings. Um, this has to do mainly with the craft and using things and the craft to make your home uh, a better or more peaceful or happy environment to live in. Uh, this book is called Magical Housekeeping, and uh, this is what it looks like. It is by Tess Whitehurst, and it says, Simple charms and practical tips for creating a harmonious home. Um, I've already began reading this book like a while ago. I haven't finished it, but it does have a lot of like interesting and cool things or good things to help like floor washes and uh, tips for for you know uh, making your space a little more not zen but just kind of like uh, more of like a space clearing is what they call it and uh, the first chapter um, is called clutter clearing but what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna read to you real quick the table of contents um, the first chapter is clutter clearing, the next chapter is cleaning, the third chapter is space clearing, the fourth chapter is harmonious positions, uh, the fifth chapter is the three secrets em the three secrets empowerment, the sixth chapter is gemstones, the seventh chapter is fairies, angels, and other helpful beings, the eighth chapter is plant allies. The ninth chapter is Animal Allies. The tenth chapter is Sacred Smoke and Aromas of Power. Um, the eleventh chapter is Blessings, Protections, and Other Rituals. And then it goes on to the conclusion, the appendix, the bibliog bibliography, and the index. Um, there's also an acknowledgments page. Sorry, guys. I kind of just woke up, so I can't really speak today. And an introduction. So, uh, and that is by Tess, the author. Um, I'm going to read the first, just the first paragraph of the first chapter. And like I said, that is on uh, clutter clearing. And it says, chapter one, everything is connected. When we look at our homes with this in mind, we see that there are that they are like extensions or reflections of our bodies, vibes, and emotions, emotional landscapes. This is an illustration of Hermes uh, Trism. Um, I can't say that word, so I'm going to spell it for you. It's T R I S M E G I S T U S apostrophe S. Um, famous magical. Uh, Precept, as above, so below. Above the scene is an external manifested world, our homes, and below the unseen and internally manifested manifested world, our thoughts, feelings, and experiences are not only mirrors of our of each other, but they are also one in the same. So sorry about that, guys. I haven't picked up this book in a while, and. Yeah, I didn't know there was a name. I think the name, I'm not sure what the name is. It's, a lot of these names are very old, like, literally, like, old language names. Like, they come from, like, like a long time ago. So, they're really hard sometimes to, to pronounce and stuff. But that's the first, just the first, like, paragraph of the first chapter. And this is what it looks like. So, um, I'm going to, I might read the next paragraph in a couple of other sections. The third chapter is called Space Clearing. And uh, that first paragraph says, Clutter clearing and cleaning, cleaning help remove both physical and energetic debris from your home and life. Space clearing helps to fine-tune the energy of your home even further by removing any remaining negativity, calling in fresh abundant and fresh abundant and sparkling energy and lifting the vibrations to every to very high and harmonious level 
You'll notice that after performing a space clearing, you'll feel a sense of lightness and buoyancy in your home that you don't didn't feel before. Inside your walls, arguments, squabbles, confusion, and general negativity will be unlikely to occur, and laughter, inspiration, clarity, joy, and open-hearted love will raise rise to the surface. Also, in this book, there are uh, magical concoctions or mixtures and stuff like that. That, uh, like this, is um, a part on space clearing that that I read, and it shows you a grid of like the areas of your home and what like each area of your home. If you sectioned it off like this, like this is I think that's gratitude and prosperity, um, radiance and. Uh, what is that? Radiance and um, reputation. Uh, there's career and life path, like I said. So if you look at this other diagram down here, this will show you like a layout of a normal home, like how it's laid out, like at least like uh, the first floor, second floor or whatever. And then you make it into like a square and then you place this kind of on top of it. And that is kind of what the areas and sections of your home is best for like setting up altars or doing or, or just kind of hanging out in or having certain occasions in and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's a pretty good book. Like I said, these are hand positions for like rituals and stuff like that. Um, Blessing Mudra, I think that's what it's called. Um, the cup runneth, runneth over type thing and stuff like that. Um, those are like little mantras and hand um, gestures that you can do during spell workings or anything like that. Um, the last chapter real quick that I was going to talk to you about real quick was chapter 10, Sacred Smoke and Aromas of Power. Uh, nothing entices, enlivens, and elevates the like scent. Smoke and aromas can relax, energize, heal, bless, and uplift your mood. Open the doors to magical realms, stimulate creativity, increase abundance, enhance and increase romance, romance, clear negativity from from the space, call in good spirits and more. So that's just kind of those were just the first paragraphs of like a couple of sections in this book, but there is uh, like prosperity mixtures um, that you can like literally make it home if you've got the ingredients like you need like orange peels and a couple of other like um like peppermint uh extract not extract but essential oil and stuff like that and you just like fill a bucket of water and you add the ingredients to it you stir it and as you're stirring it you're picturing like you know light coming from the divine or above through you into the bucket and mixing into this you know magical brew that then you'll wash your floor with and you know in time it will help bring prosperity and you know financial matters to a better position in your life so like i said this book is actually a really good book i picked this up i think at at barnes and nobles i think like i said most most of my books that i get are barnes and nobles or from a gift or something this book is 1695 in the u.s 1950 in canada and this is a picture right here of the author this is who uh, wrote and I, I think, you know, author, you know, put, created the book. So, uh, like I said, this is Magical Housekeeping. And I'll try and show you that a little bit better. And it is, it is really like an interesting book. No, I picked this up at the local apothecary that I was at and that I visit occasionally to pick up like candles and like incenses like herbs and stuff like that like things that I don't have or that I need extra of I go there just to look around and find things that you know are fun to have so um yeah so if you're in you know, I'm sure you can get this at Barnes and Nobles. If you're in the local area, look in your spiritual section, or if they have a just a plain witchcraft or a craft section, the craft section, look up uh, Tess Whitehurst and uh, check out Magical Housekeepings. And I'm gonna let you guys go for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, and excuse me for you know if I if you couldn't fully understand everything. Um, I am like half awake and haven't drank my coffee yet, which is getting cold. So. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Angel Sky Channel and I'm Angel. Bye guys.